I think the best way to start is with a big piece of art, like an art piece that you like or a rug that you like. Okay. That's my tip. Art or rug first. And then from there, you can start pulling. Somebody knows all girls. Well, you know, all girls. All right, all right. We waiting on people to join the live. We live again, baby. We live. We are live. We are live. Let me bring my friends, Tr Katrina. Jenna is on. Okay. Yes, look at my girl looking good over there, Thayat. How you doing? Good. I'm so glad we finally got this together. You know we old. Yeah, girl. You know, so this ain't our swim life. All right, Joe. Absolutely. Come on, Sas. Nina is watching. All right. And giving me hell. Hi, He's trying to get Trina on the line. For those of you who don't know, this is Jenna. Hey, Josh. Happy belated birthday to my brother, Josh. We got to get Josh on the wind down. Josh, man, Josh be doing a lot. I can't even start. Hey, love. Welcome back to the wind down. We took a week off, and now we are back. I asked Nina to go fix me some wine, and this is a kid. <laughs> what she brought me. <laughs> I heard you on the last live like Nina pour me something in my cup. Don't do me <laughs> like she that. You're a Capri Sun. I'm, I'm back. This how she done me train. I said go get me some of my uh, cup. This uh, how she it better be some hey, in there. Hey, <laughs> how you how doing beautiful? You? How Finally are you? we got this together. Thank you for sticking with us through these I technical difficulties. Know. It's 536. You got time. Let your friends know we live. All right. We got a very, very special guest today. We got Miss Jenna Lockett, the design extraordinaire. Thank you, thank you. I love you. them earrings. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Jenna is the design extraordinaire all the way from New Jersey. All the way from New Jersey. Jersey Shore. Yes, She's right. from New Jersey? Yeah. Hey. I knew I like her. Oh, I knew I like oh her. my We got to talk. <laughs> we got to go visit Jersey and get a slice of pizza. Hey. <laughs> Y'all see my new background? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Girl. I'm going to do another that. tour. Give me a couple minutes. Okay. While we waiting. But it's we gonna give people definitely a looking to good. Up. Definitely looking good. I'm scared to leave and invite people. I'm scared to chat. Y'all going to do what you got to do with Jenna. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Hold on one second. While we are... um. Letting people know we live, and y'all letting people know we live. Uh, Trent, what's going on with you? What's happening? How was your weekend? You know, to the cabins, went ahead and showed out yeah. one time That's for the true. one time. Uh, oh. thankfully, it wasn't Ooh, no neighbors close okay. by. <laughs> Trey song, okay. <laughs> y'all said I was about to say, Yes, we had a good old time. Good old had a time, time yes, ma'am. Yes, ma we had a time <laughs> last night. Like, so time to me. <laughs> How was your weekend, Jenna? Anything? You doing anything? Um, um, no. Well, you know we were just getting back from Florida. So we just trying to get the house wrapped up. Oh, and I yeah. was getting ready for your yeah. install. So that's what I did on Sunday. Yeah. yeah. That house. Okay. So first of all, Jenna just bought a new house in Florida. By the way, her husband is here doing some work helping me out i appreciate y'all y'all are so amazing but uh y'all may hear him in the background but um they just bought a new house in florida and y'all know man when the wind down team trina you are frozen okay you back there you go. but that house is so nice hey t that, that house is house. so nice first of all y'all didn't give us nothing but a little taste yeah you know how i do y'all you know how i do too much yeah <laughs> but let me so tell you what we much. did we started trying to figure out the house in the background. No, but we need to talk about your backyard. That's what I love. Your house, your backyard. Y'all y'all inspired us with the pool. I'm like, we have to have a pool. We got to have. It's a must have. Girl, that house that y'all got. I didn't even see the house. All we see was the pool attached. And we started looking at the houses in the back. Like, that, they house has to look like, at least like them. So... Once we get the full, can we get a little real sample? I mean, I feel like you just dropped some in there. Uh, it, it's coming. You know what I mean? It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. <laughs> we went to uh, Tijuana yesterday. We did, took a little drive down, a little quick little, little quick little thing. So next time you come visit, train them. I know what to do. I know where to go. Bring your passports when you come this summer. 
Yeah. She's living, ain't she? She's living, uh, uh, going to Mexico on a, on I a just Tuesday. Wanna, Okay, me too. Me too. Mexico with us. Who? How? I was working on your room. How I was gonna do that? I was working while you was playing, having fun. Yeah, she she did all the. But I love it though. But I love it though. So beautiful. Y'all see my baby picture over there? That's me, young son. Young. No, no. So I don't want to uh, con further delay. Um, I know that, you know, we're on a new platform, Facebook. Hey, Aquila, welcome back. Thank you for being patient with us. But we're on a new platform. We're on Facebook. So we're trying to get more comfortable, more familiar with it. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm so grateful to have Miss Jenna Lockett here with us today. Um, Jenna, when I say she is a design extraordinaire, when I first met Jenna, is that Mika? Is Mika back? Sorry about that. I first met Jenna through, you know, Navy, Navy. I met her husband first. He's the senior chief and I met Jenna and we did some business together. Not really. Um, we sponsored an event together and I got to see, just see her and some of the things that she was doing. Um, when I tell you this girl got pillows, magazines, um, working showroom floors throughout and working on both coasts. Like she ain't just California. Okay. <laughs> This girl will travel, and she is in high demand. Um, and I was blessed to have her come and just do a little sample of my house. I I can't do the whole house now. <laughs> Couldn't do the whole house. But thank but I just you. I had to get a little taste before she left um, California because she unfortunately will be leaving us soon. But just around the corner. But thank you and welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank Jenna, you. To the thank you. Thank you. Ready to get back to the East Coast with you, Trina. So, Jenna, let the people know. Tell the people a little bit about yourself. What inspired you to um, do what you do? Uh, so, I'm from. I'm originally from New Jersey, the Jersey Shore. Um, I lived there until I was about in ninth grade, and then my mom uh, moved us to Baltimore. So, it was a very big contrast, you know, um, from the Jersey Shore to Baltimore. But I think that's where I started really opening up my wings and getting into more creative, you know, uh, ventures and uh, just knowing more about myself. Um, at 17, I joined the military, which was really, really young. I just wanted to do something for myself and be more independent. Um, a few years in the military, I just knew it wasn't my thing, but I wanted them to pay for my education. So I finished my four years and then I met my husband, we married, uh, we traveled the world 18 years later. <laughs> We're here, but in the interim of that, we moved all over. Um, we were in Japan for a few years. We were in Virginia, we were in Florida. Then we came back to California and now we're moving back to Florida to settle. So I'm telling you all those places to say that I've picked up cultures, you know what I mean? And different things from all of my travels. And I think that really adds to my creativity. Yeah. Um, <laughs> hi, Jennifer. When we were um, in Virginia, we bought our first house. We built it from the ground up. And after about a year, the Navy was like, oh, you're going back to the West Coast. I was devastated because I put so much into my house, you know, in that first year. But in the time that we were selling it, realtors were coming in and they were like, who designed this house? You know, who staged this house? Who, you know, what designer did this? And I'm like, I just decorated my own house, you know? And they're like, well, one of the realtors was like, well, I have a few properties. Do you mind staging some of them? And I'm like, okay. And they all sold within like two weeks. Wow. So that's when I knew that you know i was on to something at that time i was working i was a coder um a medical coder for the air force and i was just like you know when i move to cali maybe i'll just make this you know a little side hustle but the side hustle became the big hustle so i mean it was really just in god's timing and it's just a natural gift i never went to school for it or anything it just it was just with me i didn't even know it was anything until that realtor told me something you know wow. mm -hmm. Man, it's so awesome how you just never know who can speak positivity in your life. And, and it's just like those small seeds. Like, you know, this this person that you didn't even know just dropped that little seed in your spirit. And, like, look at how amazing. And it's funny. And I say that, and I'm sorry, I don't want to get too far off topic, but I got I to gotta use this moment, right? Uh -huh. 
it's funny how you can allow that positive seed or that negative seed to influence your life because I'm pretty sure around the way of you building up your um, business and you sit telling people like hey I'm about to go full fledged in that mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure you had some people that tried to uh, slow you down or you know mm -hmm. but it's funny like what you put your energy to is what you become and I just think right. that's a reflection of that right right and I want to add to that that you know I've always been like I don't know. I, I say a very humble person, but I just, I'm kind of shy, honestly. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm kind of shy. I really don't like to show. I don't like to speak in public. I don't like to do that. But um, when I first moved here, I was about 70 pounds heavier. When I first moved to California, I was about 60, 70 pounds heavier. And I joined a women's gym. Mm -hmm. And we all fed off of each other's energy and like, you know, just encouraged each other and whatever we wanted to do. And one of the women was just like, no, you're going to start a business. No, go ahead. You're going to do it. And that's why I got the name Heaven Sent. Oh, wow. Because I really didn't know. I was just like, God, I'm trusting you. I'm going to put this is for you. So that's why it's Heaven Sent Design, you know, because oh. I, I didn't. I, this is all God doing it through me. You just never know, right, Train? You just never know. Like that's amazing, Jenna. So, question: um, How? So, you said that you traveled around the world. I mean, the country. I know you probably hit different parts of the world too, but that's how you said influence your design. But what would you consider your your go to design aesthetic? Like your energy. Oh, that's funny because that's changed over the years. But as I get to know myself, like being six years, seven years into the field now, I know that I'm uh, contemporary and glam. Mm -hmm. But I used to be more glam, but now I'm more contemporary, which is a little bit more refined, less furry, less bling, but more like shiny and curves and, you know, kind of sophisticated. So I like contemporary. I wish I had a video of the work of my office before. Uh, some people see my little corner, you know. Um, but before I leave, I got to show... <laughs> You guys, what Jenna did to my office, and I like I just feel bossed up. Okay, just, just today, okay. like I told, I told Nina, I said I got to get up at eight. I got to get my day started on time today. Mm. And girl, I came in here and I just felt like I was so productive today. Just you know, just the feeling that you get, you know, Love when it. um you were just in the, that type of atmosphere and the right hands touch it too. It, mm -hmm. it feels so good. 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 When people try to. But like, I know that a lot of people have different um, ideas of, you know, they want to do design or they, they have no skills with design. But before we go to the no skills, <laughs> I'm a no skills <laughs> too, Trey, how would you um, recommend somebody who's just trying to get started into a business who think they may have something? Um, how would you recommend they go about actually taking action? Into business, you said? Into a business like this, um, yeah. Um... I think one of the things that's helped me, I told you that we traveled with the Navy. I mean, I've been in the Navy affiliated since 2003. So <laughs> military or whoever, you know, your job, your church, wherever you are, you know, that you have a support system, show those people what you can do. Social media was so helpful to me. You know, just small things, something that you can think is so small, like you'll see me sometimes just do a flower arrangement. I just go to Trader Joe's, buy some flowers and just put a quick reel together. You never know who that can help, you know, and people just say, oh, wow, I can do that too. You know, and that's when you start getting your audience, you know, who, you know, like what you do. Just small things, just small things, believing in yourself and putting yourself out there because that's what it is. It's just putting yourself out there and seeing who will bite. Yeah, Quiz cool said your setting can truly affect your mood. And you said, hey, Mika. <laughs> Some people haven't seen me. What um, Chris said, what you put your energy to is what you'll become. Absolutely. That's right. That's wow, that's right. what a blessing. A lot of people are just giving you love and sending you love, Jenna. Oh. Thank you. Let me read that with you. That's pretty awesome. Um, Tamisha said, I was late, so I just realized that you were in your office. I was sitting here wondering where you were. <laughs> Very nice and boss chickish. <laughs> Love it. Never did that, Tamisha. But you are a boss. I mean, you are a boss. You're a realtor. You're a broker. I mean, girl, that's, that's, <laughs> that's you. That's all you right there. 
it's back to what you were saying. Look, this is how you pivot, right? Back to what you were saying. Like one thing I learned just by being in this industry and being a uh, being a business professional, right? A lot of people have goals, but they don't take action, mm. and then they become secretive about their talents. Like I know people who organize closets. You out? Uh, your husband on his way home. So okay. he got it. <laughs> I know people that organize closets that just do things that you don't even think can be monetized. Mm -hmm. But all you have to do, like Jenna said, let people see what you do. Let people know what you do. And people will pay you for those type of, uh, those skill sets. That's the, that's, that's the biggest thing, just showing up. I mean, that's what working out, that's what anything. The hardest part is just showing up, getting there, and then the rest, like tonight. I mean, I like I told you, I'm not so comfortable speaking, but I know the more that I do it, the more I put myself out there, the better I'll get at it, yeah. you know? And that's what yeah, anything. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, shy. I'm pretty shy, too, believe it or not. Mm -hmm. I am, Trina. Look, look at Trina. Look at Trina. Is she, is she shy, Trina? <laughs> If you, you die, I'm shy. I'm shy. I'm shy. So what about with kids, you know, like people go into these houses and sometimes things are so designed, over designed, mm -hmm. kids can't, you can't even be comfortable in there. For mm -hmm. people who have kids, how do you soften that for families and for people to actually feel comfortable in that home? I guess you, my question is, what's the balance? Mm -hmm. Well, I think when you have children, you have to think about one uh, quality you know, a better, because, I mean, if you buy it off of, you know, a, you know, if you lowball what you're going to get, you can't clean it but so many times. Mm -hmm. But if you buy something that's more durable, if you know what kind of material you're buying, like when microfiber was out, I don't know if you remember, like the brown suede couches, mm -hmm. like, you know, <laughs> okay. So I love those because, you know, those are easier to clean. So when you have kids, you just have to be cognizant of, is this a material that's easy to clean? You always see those nice furry rugs. Well, you can't clean those. Once they dirty, it's that's it. So you kind of just have to know what you're buying, I yeah. think. Um, and also with children, you know, you don't want glass. You would rather something more durable like wood that you can wipe down, you know, because they put their sticky fingers on everything. So you just want to be, you know, thoughtful of what you're buying. It, it's definitely doable. I, we're going to have kids and we just got to train them while they're young because I want nice things. I'm not saying Absolutely. <laughs> I'm not saying hey, so basically, like, don't let them kids steal your show. Don't let them kids steal your swag. Mm -mm. You <laughs> mm -mm. get the right stuff. Don't be just cheap. A queen like that. Comment, mm -hmm. I want to go back to it. She says that I think people do not always realize their talents. I'm in a weird space. I know I'm good and capable at things, but I don't know my talents. Mm. Do you have any advice for somebody who's trying to figure out how to identify their purpose or their talents? Um, actually, I do. I think, you know, people are always telling you what you're good at. You know, mm -hmm. um, some people are naturally good at things like, um, you know, uh, people just say, oh, girl, you do my hair so nice or you could curl so good or you could do this so good. When people start saying that more than two people, that's your niche. That's what you're good at. And you need to listen and go in that direction. You know, yeah. that's what I think. What do you think, Trina? I know we've had this conversation a few times on Wind Down. Can you add yeah. to help help her out? Yeah. I don't think I'll add it's something that that's not anything that I sometimes you have to go to school for the most part the foundation mm -hmm. is already you and you're just kind of you right. know building off of what's already there I think a lot of times the left left into the right and they're trying to uh, hold on one second Trina first. is it me Jenna or is she okay. cutting in and out she's cutting in and out okay Okay. I'm gonna try. I'm yeah, gonna go it was hard to hear you. I don't want her to miss what you was trying to say because I could tell it was good. I think Angel. I, I kind of heard her. She was saying that um, you know it's already there. You can go to school to kind of hone it. Yeah. A little and fine tune it, but it's already there. Yeah. I believe that. I really believe that. And so mm -hmm. you, sometimes people can show you, and sometimes you just follow the things that you feel good about, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I know Aquia, and one thing I know about Aquia is she's always been extremely smart, mm -hmm. and she's always been like, if I if I start something, I know I can finish it, and just that alone is a talent, right. it's a skill, you know. Right. Um, 
I still feel like I'm trying to figure out what I'm good at. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But in the meantime, you just keep walking mm -hmm. and you keep uh, trying new things and keep trying to see what feels right. Because I feel like that's going to help show you. Here comes Trina. She's coming back in. Yeah. But I think you just continue to walk in it. And I think once you start to try different stuff, like don't, that's the thing. Don't be afraid to try something that you never would have tried before. Mm -hmm. Don't be fearful mm -hmm. to say, you know, I can, I'm going to go and be a, a photographer because I've been interested in this. Mm -hmm. Or don't be fearful to say, hey, I want to sell things on Amazon because I, I think I might be, I'm organized, I'm good with money, right. I can balance my budget, and I think I can be good at this. I think that fear is what keep people from even trying. Definitely. You will never really get to feel what make you feel good if you don't try. Like, I, I got into real estate and people tell you like we lived all over the place growing up we didn't even have stable housing mm -mm. but i decided that real estate was going to be my way of helping people mm -hmm. and um i i absolutely love it joe who is also an entrepreneur joe and she'll be joe will be on the wind down in a couple of weeks y'all but she said follow what you live believe in yourself and stick to it absolutely that's, that's right trying to make sure angel said when you create a space for clients, what, oh, this is a question for you, Jenna. Mm -hmm. When you created spaces for clients, what inspire you to create the ideal space for them? Um, so like for you, I come in, well, I, we start with a design questionnaire to ask you those type of questions. What do you like? What do you want your space to feel like? What don't you like in that space? Uh, what's your style? And usually one of the big things for me is when I come to your consultation, your in-home consultation, I'm always like, show me what your favorite item is in this space, you know? And so someone might say this picture behind me. And from that picture, I can say, okay, she likes pink. Okay. She likes abstract. Okay. She likes gold. So I start building just off that initial conversation with you. So like for your office, I asked you, I said, what kind of space are you looking for? You said you liked glam. I would have never guessed that, honestly. And I was, remember I was mm -hmm. kind of surprised. I was like, oh, okay, I love that, okay. So um, it went from there. And then I said, well, what colors do you like? And you said pink and blue. At first I was like, pink and blue. Okay, you know, but it, I, I, from there, I love to hear that feedback because that's where my creativity just starts. Boom, boom, boom. You know, just from those two pieces of what you told me, glam, pink, blue. Okay, I feel you. Yeah, you kind of get a vibe yeah. off of all that. And personality-wise, I'm pretty sure kind of help you too. Like, if you know their personality, if they don't, if you don't know, does that shape the way that you do maneuver? Um, their personality, yes, yes, but the personality I think comes in with the accessories piece of it, like the little small little, you okay. know, things. Yeah, yeah, that's where I kind of put your personality into it. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. I know, like people like me and my girl Trina over there have no design skills, no <laughs> skills with when it comes to like none of that stuff, none of that pretty stuff, right? Mm -hmm. um what advice do you have for somebody who just needs to do just a little something to you know because i'm gonna go to the showroom and i'll be like oh okay i like that so just give me all that but it really may not give feel me that for, right but it seems good <laughs> at the store you know what advice would you have for somebody like me who don't have any skills and just trying to do a little something to enhance their life Mm -hmm. I think instead of her saying, give me all of that, I think if your eye sees it, like just let, let's say you see the sofa and the first thing you're like, oh, I like how big that is. I like the color. Oh, it just does something. Don't buy the table and the and the tables on the side and, the, you know, all of that. Just try to start with that sofa. Mm -hmm. And, and a, But before I even say that, I think the best way to start is with a big piece of art, like an art piece that you like or a rug that you like. Okay. That's my tip art or rug first and then from there you can start pulling from those things you can start pulling colors you can just start building off of that kind of like an outfit you know you you got the red shoes so you know you may want a red lip and then you just start building off of that you know what i mean yeah i would have never thought to do that you know mm -hmm. i always go put a table first go for the sofa first but that makes a lot of sense mm -hmm. um because that's what's really gonna make everything Girl. pretty and yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Terry said that I've been trying to figure out my talents too. 
so been trying to do different things now i feel like a jack of all trades but i still don't know what my expertise well charity i know what your expertise is but um, <laughs> uh charity is my social media manager so i'm just gonna put that out there i have so many people who ask like hey who does this for you and charity be like yeah i'm not ready I'm not. but you know i ain't, i ain't mad at her because i love all the attention that i get mm -hmm. but i also never want to be selfish because i do think that that's a unique talent charity and i don't think that you should um limit yourself or uh, minimize your capabilities because you've proven, you know, you don't do anything in real estate. As a matter of fact, you know, you don't even do California, but um, you've proven that you can do that because your talent has enhanced my business. And I don't think I'll be where I am if I didn't have you. So this is my opportunity to publicly say thank you to Charity um, uh -huh. because I appreciate all the things that she well, do for me. Well, Charity, we should talk. <laughs> I'm helping that department. <laughs> Yeah, she does great. And a lot of people um, ask me about her. Yeah, you know, if you want to, I'll, I'll, I'll send her your way. You please know. do, please do. Um, Angel said, what steps do you take to stay and remain on trend? Oh, that's a good mm -hmm. question. With, uh, with the current designs. Um, it's so funny because I, I will tell you just, I was just talking to Charity because I really don't enjoy social media that much. Mm -hmm. I just don't um, enjoy all the scrolling and I don't know, it kind of makes me anxious, but um, I, I've always said that I was a trendsetter. I say that because I can almost predict a color trend before it comes out. Like mm -hmm. before the neon green was hot, I was like, oh, you know, I, I can kind of predict that. And maybe that's just somewhat of, a, or even if you're just in the store and you start seeing the same same trends you know the same lavender or the same this you just know what's coming and if your eye likes it you know then it likes it i mean i don't know i really don't follow trends i really like classic things is what i'm trying to say oh wow okay classic <laughs> like I said, she, she like classic baby like i like I'm, to do my own follow, thing I'm you can't it's everywhere <laughs> you said follow her okay i love you <laughs> okay so um we talked about that what do you think some mistakes that people make when they're trying to put their own stuff together what mistake what mistakes do you think people make when they're embarking on their own renovation or style makeovers again following the trend because trends go out of style very quickly yeah very very quickly so do your own thing do what feels good to you when your eye sees something you keep looking at it Go with it. You like it. Be confident in that, you know, that you like that and get it. No matter if it doesn't matter if no one else has it, you like it. Some people eyes be looking at the wrong that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> That's where you call, call me. I'll bring it together. <laughs> bring it together for me. What do you think, though? This is just, you know, another. When you go into people's houses, are you always like low key, like, okay, you know, judging? <laughs> no, I'm not. No, no, I'm not. People think that even my family, when I go home, they're like, I don't want you to come in here. I'm like, no, I'm not judging. I promise. I, I, I can promise you I'm not. Um, just like you were saying, um, you know, when you were younger, you moved around a lot and then you became a realtor and you want to get people settled into their own ho home that they can afford and buy. Mm -hmm. I think it was the same thing. My mom was not into interior decor design or anything at all. I mean, literally kind of like sheets up to the windows type thing, you know? And I just knew when I got older that, you know, I wanted a space that I was proud of, yeah. you know, that I wanted to bring people to. So I think sometimes those things that we're kind of slightly embarrassed or don't like, it becomes our gift somehow. You know what, I, I, I definitely know that that resonates with me. So that's pretty, that's pretty big, that's pretty deep. Like. Sometimes people run towards stuff that inspires them. And sometimes people run from those things and it helped it propel them in different ways. Right. So, yeah, I, I definitely um, resonate with, with what you said right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So my thing is, um, I just forgot my what I was going to say. <laughs> Trina, you got any questions? Trina, what you got? Uh, for, <laughs> I don't know. Am I, can y'all hear me okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sound good. Oh, I don't know. You covered you covered what I was gonna ask. 
Yeah, it's like where to start. So you already kind of covered that. I guess what about like DIY projects? Do you like people who have their own little projects that they do in their home? That's a good question. That's a really good question because I do like DIYs. But like my husband will be build any and everything. He, oh, I could do that. Oh, I could build that. Oh, I could. And see, that becomes a problem because then it, it starts getting like Sanford and Son and everything look a little rustic. And I'm <laughs> like, we, we can make some things. We can't make everything. So I think you have to have that versatility with some new, some old, some high dollar, some low dollar. And that's how you come with this kind of sophisticated look, you know, lived in sophisticated look. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so I do like DIYs I do I'm sorry Trina can you go back I want to go back to Aquia's question because you were saying some very um, powerful stuff and I want uh, it to be heard more clearly mm -hmm. but I'll read what she said and then if you want to you know expound so her question was uh, and I know we read this before but I'm going to read it again and it's hard because I'm using my phone because I'm staring at the sound so if I'm like all in the camera don't oh, like this right. yeah <laughs> But she says, I think some people don't know their talents. I'm in a weird space. I don't know what I'm good and capable at things, but I don't know my talent. So what advice would you give for somebody in that situation? So a few things I'm talking about is um, normally it's something that already comes natural to you. She had spoke about earlier where a lot of times other people notice your talents before you do. You know, they're automatically, you know, praising or complimentary or they're always asking you to bring that special potluck dish or whatever um mm -hmm. you know and a lot of times i think like you said from fear we're scared of failure but one thing when it comes to especially in business you have to be embracing a uh, failure just fail fast mm -hmm. because that's how you know what works and what doesn't work. you have to put yourself out there and be able to just kind of keep a checklist of okay i tried that that didn't quite work that didn't hit my audience like i wanted to let me circle back and try it this way. Right. So just not letting that um, fear, um, control you. And if you're not sure of what exactly it is, just try them out and see what feels good for you. What comes natural? What you know immediately attracts the, the audience that you're wanting to attract. That's good. That's good. Really good. Mm -hmm. Jenna, how did you start to identify? So let me say this, Trina has a business too, and a lot of people don't know this, but I'm going to put your business out there, Trina. Um, Trina also has a business. She does some social media uh, management. She builds um, websites and she builds um, flyers and she do a lot of different things like that, right? Mm -hmm. So I guess my question for both of you is, how do you determine how to charge for your services? And, you know, how do you feel when it comes down to having to charge people, you know, uh, and, and tell them that bottom number without feeling like you have to cut yourself cheap um, when you know that you provide a good service? You, you first, Trina. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good one. So when I first started, I think I was, I was so, so excited about just starting that I wasn't valuing my worth and I was just getting myself like drained in projects mm -hmm. um you know for low dollar I was investing a lot of my time and not really charging what I should have charged and I got burnt out and overworked now it did kind of help mm -hmm. because I was able to get a lot of customer base from that but as far as knowing what you should charge you should do your research see mm -hmm. what's you know the average um in that skill set and um but if you have a specialty like you know with jenna here you know she got that eye that nobody else gonna see she got the future future trends already in her head <laughs> so she up charging for that you know and i feel like if your quality stands behind your product or your service then people will pay for it so um never sell yourself short that's what i would say on that um agreed Agreed. Agreed. I think your time is invaluable. So I think it's hard to charge for that. Are you guys there? Okay. Um, I think it's, it's, it's hard to charge for that, especially and that's, it is hard because when you work so hard, and it's a passion, you really have to compartmentalize.
you know, and not take it so personal. And I think in the first few years, because I'm in your home, because I'm around your family, because I work so hard, because I'm standing in lines, because I'm on customer service, like I just knew all of the behind the scenes work and I was undercharging just to get the customers and the clients right. and face and I, that's how you get burned out, you know? So you really do have to quickly, like Trina said, do your research, you know what I mean? And, um, you know, find out what people in your field, who's your competition, what they're charging, you know, how long they've been in the business, what their, their, um, you know, what their rooms look like. And then you kind of put, you have to be honest with yourself and say, where do I fall? Where, where do I fall? I still struggle with that. Like I do a lot of free work. <laughs> And I do it because I still have like, you know, that passion um, just for helping people because that's, I feel like that's my purpose of doing what I do. Um, but when it comes to like, even me, like I would go and go to a listing appointment and these people hadn't even asked me for a discount <laughs> and I've already, you know, cut my price in half. Yeah. And I think that, and then I started to realize like, damn, like I'm really good. Like I, I know that I've negotiated with top industry professionals here and I've been able to get things that my clients wanted. I know that I've made relationships all across the country and I can get my client what they want in another state without even blinking, you know? Um, but sometimes just out of fear, and I don't know what it is around surrounding mm -hmm. money, but I think it's a lot of fear surrounding it. It's hard to be like, yeah, I'm going to need my percentage. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to need this dollar amount. Mm -hmm. you know I get I mean? nervous. I still get nervous about asking yeah. people for money, I, I don't know why. <laughs> funny, we talked about, about that today, right? And I just tell a little bit about it. Like, so yeah. let me tell y'all a funny thing. You, know, you don't always know how much this type of stuff costs, right? right? So the first time I'm like, Jenna, I need you to come through, look at my house, and tell me how much it's going to be. <laughs> Girl, she hit me with that line. I was like, ah! I'll, need you. <laughs> I'll be all right. Mm -hmm. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and do my own thing. <laughs> yes. Yes, I but, know. you know, what I realized is that um, when you have somebody with this level of talent, and I, I respect it, like for me too, and now I'm, at, I'm not quite, because I, I can walk away easily. If I, if I give a price and they're not comfortable with it, I'm okay, well, that's cool, you know? Um, and so I don't feel, no. when somebody tell me they're not, they would rather work with somebody else, I'm fine with okay. that. But um, I do, I do realize, like, okay, try to do it yourself if you want to. You're right. To. <laughs> hey, you're right. And then I ended up calling Jenna, right. which I had already, I had you on my list. Like, I, I am going to call her. I just got to get my money up. I know what it, I, you know, I know it's going to cost me. I need to uh, be prepared because, um, you know, but I do need Jenna to come bless these walls a little bit because she is very talented. Right. And see, yeah, well, I applaud you. you for that because, in our community, we're always quick to ask for a discount or, you know what I'm saying? It's like, we, I don't know why we do each other like that. We wouldn't go to some unknown company and be like, okay, well, let me get 25% off. You you know, I, you like my right. shoes today. I, you know, but we do that to ourselves and to the people that we know and love. So I tried to make sure 2023 that I am like valuing the businesses that I'm choosing to yeah. pay for in. And make sure that you know I'm not trying to you know get a discount or anything like that. So right. I, I applaud you for. That. I appreciate you. I appreciate <laughs> you for paying me. And you didn't have a problem with anything. I didn't even know you were just like okay, okay. I'm like okay. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I think that people um and we yeah we do. I, everybody's always looking to win. You know, in this world, everybody want to feel like they got the best deal they won. But when it come down to it, like. Again, like Trina said, you ain't doing that when you walk into X, Y, Z. So why do you try to undercut your people for their skills and their talents? And a lot of the times, like, they're way more well-versed in what they're doing. And we are so quick to not even give them a chance. Like, okay, yeah. you know, like Trina, Trina don't know nothing about no web design. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But I've never even asked in the see. Mm -hmm. a design that Trina created. You know what I mean? Right. Like, Renisha, she don't know nothing about no selling houses. Oh, yeah. Without talking to one client or seeing me in action or even having a real, have given me an opportunity to um, give them a listing presentation. You know what I mean? Right. Like, I don't understand mm -hmm. that for us. It's, it's crazy. Right. But I've been there. Where's Jenna located? Sue, 
So Jenna is in San Diego right now, but she is moving to or Florida. Let me not Orlando, Florida. Hey. Uh, hey. <laughs> she will be on the East Coast very soon. Yeah. And I so know she Florida, Georgia. Yeah. Florida, we Georgia. Florida, yes. Georgia. We outside. <laughs> we are outside. <laughs> we trip up to Atlanta for you, Annie. But yeah, hey, I, I can't ask her for no discount after doing this whole <laughs> I can't ask her for <laughs> and I'm verified. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, but I, I tell you, she is good at what she do. Does she do face? And do you do virtual consultations? Yes. yes, I do. I do virtual consultations. I do. Yep. I call them e-designs. Yes. Okay. Visit my website, uh, www.heavensentdecor.com, and you can see all of my services and all of my portfolio and everything there. Can somebody put that in the chat? www.heavensentdesign. Um, yeah, I ain't gonna say it again. You said it. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I'm messing up again. Tamisha said, do you think there are some colors or color combos that will always be classic? I realize that a lot of um, people are going back lighter again. You're seeing a lot of whites and light grays and um, light taupes and light. I think um, I think airy will never go out of style. Airy meaning open, like that light color I used on your wall. You see, I didn't go too dark. I could have went a dark blue. Um, but anyway, um, I think lighter colors will never go out of style. I love gold, um, but we saw back in the 90s that gold went out of style. So, um, but repeat, um, patterns repeat. So it'll, it'll come back. Gold will come back. And so I like gold. I like white. I like black, just the very, um, what do you call it, primary colors. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sharonda said, and Sharonda, I need to get you on a wind down because I want you to do a makeup tutorial mm -hmm. for the people. But Sharonda said, when I started getting out there, I did a lot of free work and I found myself busy but broke. Mm -hmm. I had to change that up and yeah. I lost a lot of clients because I charged my worth. So now I could be doing better, but I know my worth and I, and I add a tax. Yes. Yes. Because you will. People will allow you mm -hmm. to be busy and broke. Mm -hmm. People all, will. Like, all day. Me yeah. and yeah. all the time. People will take, take, take. Yes. Okay? Yes. They and will turn you out. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I appreciate y'all for being on here tonight. For the thank wind down, Jenna. I, I, Don't forget to give us another, get the people a tour. Another tour oh, yeah, of okay. the work. So, yeah. So do you have, can you share pictures? Because I got a before picture. Do you care or no? I don't know how to do that. But I can, what I will do, Jenna, is I can put the before and after on my social media. And I can okay. tag you. And okay. see it. Give me one second because I done took my shoes off. I need to put them in my room. <laughs> Give me a second. Now I'll come back and show y'all. So Trina, you're in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yes, when you're ready, give me a call. <laughs> Give me a call. And I heard you're in the financial department. So we'll talk all offline. We talk Absolutely. Offline. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, guys. Let's let get me, it. Let me spin around. So this is my office. I have a loft office. You see, I got me a little art now. You got to go from the stairs. You got to go from oh, the stairs. No, I can't go from the stairs because oh. I had um the, the people came and fixed my washer and dryer. Oh. I had to pull everything oh. out of my lunch. Okay, okay, okay. But Hold on, let me turn on some more lights. Oh, that didn't help much. But anyway, you see, I got me a new carpet. So I'll go up the stairs for the picture, but I got me a new carpet. Y'all see my chair? Look at that. Look at that. I got curtains, y'all. I got curtains. And these things is velvet. <laughs> what is that, velvet? Oh, and then look, I got me some more art. Got me some more storage. And I'll tell you guys, I, it don't even make sense without seeing the before. Because I have so many. I have a thousand and one notebooks, y'all. I got so many notebooks, it's embarrassing. Let me show you a lot of these notebooks. I don't take a lot of notes. I'm a nerd. But anyway, that's me, y'all, for those who don't know. But, um, <laughs> yeah, I got a crap ton of notebooks. But she just organized it so nicely, like, mm -hmm. If, I'm telling y'all, when I work yeah, today, I, I feel like I was about to make some real deals today. Oh, good. 
good. I'm so glad it motivated you. And I so, got me a new client today, honey. So it definitely did something for me. Love it. Oh, all referrals are welcome. Y'all know anybody looking to buy sell real estate in San Diego or California? Soon to be Florida. Because me and Jen are both about to be licensed in Florida. Okay. Right. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Joe said you better talk about that sign. Joe, I told you guys, Joe will be on the wind down in a couple of weeks. She uh, has her own business, but she made me this sign, y'all. She put my logo on there. It's a uh, wood, a little, little something nice. She made me some t-shirts, some mugs, like, and she did it for me, oh. y'all. Oh. For free. I didn't ask her for it. She just wanted to uh, bless my life. And That's she so did great. it for me just because she wanted to uh, bless me. And I appreciate that for that. That's my boo. I love her. But yeah, she uh, elevated me. Made me feel good. You know, you got a business. You put that logo. You got your little logo. You see your logo somewhere. Makes you so it proud. Makes you feel, feel good. And so she felt that for me. She did that for me. So talk about your sign, Joe. <laughs> but anyway, before we go, y'all got any lasting thoughts? Any any um any further questions? Please put them in the comments. Um, Trina, you got any lasting thoughts? I'm good. It was great. I enjoyed it. I'm going to go look for me some art or a rug to pull from. Boom. There you go. There you go. And if you need some more help, we also have an e-design, like I was saying, you know, um, where you pretty much shop for everything. I'm just helping you with your direction and your vision. That's it. That's it. But okay. you're doing everything. You're shopping for everything. Once you find that inspiration piece, if you just need a little, just a little something, just a couple hours to talk to me and we just, you know, go through your, um, your wants and needs. And then we kind of make a vision for you. I'm here. Right. I'm gonna have to use that. I'm gonna need that e-design service, but I'm just gonna wait. Cause we moving to Florida too, baby. And I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna need that thing to be, look, Trina ready to come out. You already know. It's gonna be nice. I'm okay. ready. Yeah. So, we've been working overtime for that house. It may not be looking like Jen and them house. Oh, that please. <laughs> have you, you seen her house, Trina? Have you seen the house she's in right now? Okay. I, I A whole resort. Oh, you haven't huh? seen it? Not the one you Trina been in my house. Oh, I got huh? you. Oh um, no no no! You've been here. You've oh. been here. Uh, yeah, it's beautiful. It's a whole resort. It's beautiful. Yeah. Now, Jenna's no, house in Florida. I haven't seen her house in California, but I have seen it. I seen a, a snippet. Uh, oh, I'm so I excited! I'm so excited! Snippet. I'm so. Oh so, yeah, we'll be out there in Florida soon. So, I definitely uh, turn. I know you're gonna be down there. Anyway, I appreciate y'all for coming. Again, my name is Renisha Nation. You can find me on all my social media platforms, Renisha Nation or Renisha underscore Nation. Jenna, tell the people how they can find you. Um, um, you can find me on Heaven Sent Design on Instagram. My website is www.heavensentdecor.com, but everything else you'll find me at Heaven Sent Design. Awesome. Trina, tell the people how to find you. It's Trina Davis on Facebook and six about business on Instagram and TikTok. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah, Trina. Before I go, can you just tell the people real quick about your TikTok, uh, TikTok business? Yeah. Um. So I'm working on a few things, but um, I'm gonna be putting together like an ebook or some type of planner or journal to help people with content creation. For your different businesses and how to grow your platform on um, TikTok, especially because it's just a very good monetization um, opportunity. So I'm working on that. That's definitely in the works. Yes, good, good. <laughs> she was smart, girl. Yes, <laughs> my girl said she's working on a book. I love mm -hmm. everybody. Again, I if you are looking or you know anybody looking for real estate needs uh, anywhere in the country, like I, I'm telling you, I can help you. Um, so have them give me a call. If you guys want to get in contact with Jenna or Trina and you don't know how to contact them, feel free to reach out to me and I will connect you. Um, but until then, I will see you next week. Come back next week because we have Siobhan T. It's the first of the month. So we're going to do some mindset, some motivation, some healing. Tink is a licensed relationship expert. And so she's going to be here to talk to us about uh, just healthy relationships and healthy mindsets. 
I'm going to tell y'all right now, the month of March is off the chain for the wind down. We got Sasha Barkin. She is a um, estate planner and a lawyer. So she's going to come talk to us about estate. I had to reschedule my training. So I'm going to talk to you guys about five ways where you can get real estate or buy a house with zero money down. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm trying to get Sharonda on the wind down. We got Joe coming to the wind down. I am missing somebody. Please get these dogs under control. I am in my final stage of this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we got some good stuff coming for the month of March, and I am looking forward to keeping this going. Um, yeah, yeah, all sorry. throughout the month of March, it's going to be a good time. So bring your friends. Let them know we are live every Wednesday night, and I look forward to seeing you guys. All right.